But there is a steel industry in the Bay Area, and we don't make the steel, but plenty of companies make products from steel that they import. ABC 7 News reporter Wayne Friedman reports from a Petaluma company where even before today's signing, the possibility of tariffs impacted business. A continent away from D.C., far from the political crowd. We've entered a corner of American and political enterprise that stretches back to 1901. Most people drive by this place and they have no idea what it is until they walk inside and they're like, oh my gosh. When we tell you how Royce Van Beber represents the fifth generation of his family to run this steel fabricating company, believe it. That is him on the left. Van Beber brothers have been here through two world wars, one recession and one depression. You know, steel is like the building block of the world. This is a small but extremely established steel fabricating company. If you wonder about the effects on steel tariffs on average Americans, this would be a good place to start. In the last month, the price of steel we've seen as much as 15% increase uh, and it's adding by the day. His company buys steel from local and foreign manufacturers, then turns it into floors or conduits or tractor parts, even battle bots. Now those prices are rising. Uh, panic buying is what's happening. As President Trump describes it, a tariff on foreign steel will boost American industry and jobs. It's a controversial measure. High level stuff to the 31 employees at Van Beber. Todd Wilkening has been here 10 years. He's a craftsman, not an economist. Probably for the person who's going to pay for the steel, it's going to matter a lot. Um, in the end, it's the, the end user who's yeah. going to end up paying for it. And through countless places just like this across the nation. We bend it, we roll it, we cut it, we sell it as is. In Petaluma, Wayne Friedman, ABC 7 News.